everyone. My name is Samantha Lobato. I'm 17, not 18, <laughs> and I just graduated from CEC Middle College of Denver on this very stage. <laughs> Given that it's summer, I know this may be a challenge, but let's close our eyes and think about school. Think about your favorite teacher. How did it feel to be in that classroom? What did you like about it? Open your eyes. When I think about school, I think about two chapters in my life, and oddly enough, my bed. The first chapter always started off with me lying in bed with my eyes closed, thinking, ugh, I don't want to go to school. You know the feeling, right? So. When I would wake up, it was really difficult for me to go to school because growing up with a disability was a huge you know, blow on my self-confidence. I believed people when they told me that I was disabled or handicapped. I believed them when they told me that I was, could never function like everyone else or that I would never be normal. One teacher made all of the difference. She told me, disability is physical, ability is in the mind. And she pulled me out of the phase where I was stuck, just constantly thinking about the negative things in my life, which transitioned into the second chapter of my school years. The times where I would wake up out of bed and jump because I was excited to go. Because mentally, I can do whatever my classmates did in the classroom, so this motivated me. This newfound confidence gave me the ability to give a speech to 1,200 people. Now, I never thought I could sit in front of a group and speak eloquently, but after I was done, I proved to myself that I could do it and that I shouldn't put limits on myself. I have faced many challenges in my life. You all have faced many challenges in your life. But together, we are facing a gigantic challenge. China has more honor students than we have students. Every 26 seconds, someone drops out of high school. That's a total of 18 students during my talk. And compared to other countries, we're number 20 for graduation rate. You are here. So there's a lot of challenges facing us. And when I think about our future, I think about the challenges I faced in my own life. What kept me going? What made me motivated to never give up? Well, believe it or not, there's a characteristic trait that is defined by never giving up. It's called grit. Grit is perseverance and passion for long-term goals. You all have grit because you have gone through challenges and instead of giving up, you persevered and you overcame those goals. Well, as we think of, sit here you know, with our cell phones at hands and our minds on Facebook, do we really want to be known as a generation that is constantly thinking about technology or throwing our time away on social media. Let's be known as the generation with grit. Lilian, Lilia Roman has grit. She is an undocumented student and graduated from Bruce Randolph after receiving the, one of the largest scholarships that Comcast gives. Esmeralda Aguilar has grit. When she asked the Secretary of Education, Arne Duncan, what can student voice do to help with the renewal of our schools? He replied, students know what's working and what isn't working in schools before anyone else. Now, you have all been in a classroom, so you know what's working. And Jesse Soto has grit. He didn't know that he had the power to change how a teacher thought. 
Taylor Betts is an award-winning math teacher. Now, she had a really difficult lesson to give. So she went to her math coaches and said, you know, I really don't know how to give this to the students without giving them the answer. She couldn't find any good solutions that worked for her. So she went to her class and said, this isn't working. I don't know how to give this to you without giving you the answer, so I'm just going to give you the answer. Jessie Soto raised her hand and said, no, Mrs. Betts, don't give us the answer. We can figure it out. Within a 45-minute class period, they f that class found not one, but two solid solutions that worked. Ms. Betts had a breakthrough. Although she is an expert on teaching, she realized that students are the experts on learning because they're in the classroom every single day. Now, you all are the experts on learning. And if we, don't, if we as students don't use our voice, then we will be silenced and ignored. So close your eyes again. Think about a classroom that did not work for you. What didn't you like about it? How did that make you feel? Open your eyes. You, as students, are the experts on learning. You know what's working for you. So it's time for you to step up, use your voice, because if every student in America uses our voice, then we cannot be ignored. We need a classroom that teaches grit, because no one else will. It's grit that helps us move past those big challenges in our life, dealing with divorce or uh, substance abuse, teen pregnancy, bullying, homelessness. All of these things need grit to overcome. And that is one major thing that each one of the students in every single classroom in America has. So it's time to utilize that. We in America need a breakthrough for our education system. We as students need to step up, use our voice, use our grit. Someone once said, give peace a chance. We need to start this in every single classroom. We need to be the change that we wish to see. Thank you.